Worship drummers, want to make friends with your band and your worship leader and get called back again and again? Well, here's the quick tip. Don't play your favorite fills. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Blueprint Sounds. My name is Nathan Smith. Thanks for joining me. This is the first in a several part series, quick tips for worship teams. And we're going to start with the drummer. So here's the tip, drummers, why you don't want to play your favorite fills when you're on a worship team. You don't want to play your favorite fills because you can't be sure that your favorite fills are going to match what the song needs. It's really, really important that in any musical context, not just worship leading, but in worship songs, your job is one job, to serve the song with your playing. That's everybody's job, but that's especially your job as a drummer. So let's listen to a couple musical examples. I have a song that I wrote called Make It Your Home, and we're going to be looking at the pre-chorus to the chorus. First, we're going to listen with no drums. Then we're going to listen with the good drums, and then we're going to listen with the drums that aren't the drummer that's not going to get called back. So first, let's have a listen to a little bit of the pre-chorus and the chorus. Glory in the highest, let the earth receive her King. Come and make it your home. Deep calls out. All right. So in that example, we hear me going into the chorus and I sing, come and make it your home, right? I go, come and make it your home. All right. That lyric right there, the melody is the king. The melody is always the king, but the melody tells you a lot about what the song wants to be. And it tells the drummer a lot about what the fill from the pre-chorus to the chorus should be. So if we take out the notes and we just turn come and make it your home into a rhythm, it's ba 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 ba, right? That's a really good starting point. That a, a savvy drummer would say, hmm, I should probably do something that matches that. But let's listen to this first example of drums and the drummer who doesn't get it. He's just going to do a fill that he's been working on, and we'll see how that sounds. The highest. Let the earth receive her king. Come and make it your home. Deep. So, what was the takeaway in that example? The fill doesn't work. It simply is not the right style. It would work in another style or in another song, but it doesn't serve this song. It doesn't serve this pre chorus. The drummer just liked it, and so he did it. Okay? Let's listen to the good example. Receive her king. Come and make it your home. Deep calls out to you. In this example, the drummer got it. The drummer took the rhythm from the song, Come and Make It Your Home, and made that the blueprint for what the fill was going to do. It's so simple, but it requires listening. And too often, drummers, just like every other instrument, get in their own heads. They think about their beat. They think about what they're doing on their instrument. They don't remember that they are part of a broader band and they're try and the whole group is trying to make the song work. And so the drummer, who's probably been practicing a drum fill that's complicated and challenging because what else would you practice? You practice what you're not good at. The drummer is going to practice what challenges him or her. Well, guess what? If they like a particular style, they're going to lean into that style. They're going to do the stuff they like. And then when it comes time to play, if they're not careful, they'll just put in the drum fill that they've been practicing that they like over the top of any old song, rather than humbly coming as a servant and saying, this is a song that I need to serve. So I'm going to figure out what rhythm is going to work best. Again, the song tells you often what the rhythms should be. Should it be fast? Should it be flashy? Should it be simple? Should it be stripped down? That takes a lot more maturity and savvy to know how to play the right thing, not just your favorite thing. So drummers, top tip for you, don't play your favorite fills. Use your favorite fills somewhere else. Practice them for sure. Do that, absolutely. But when it comes time to serve a song, you need to listen intently into what the song wants to be 
and make the song the best that it can be by accentuating rhythms that are already inherent in the song and not overlaying your favorite thing over the top of it. If you do that, that makes the song feel good. It makes it work. And when you do that, people notice. When a drummer makes a song feel good, a lot of times people can't even put in words why it, why it worked, but then they latch onto that drummer and they say, hey, I need, I need you to do that again. I need you for the next gig because it just worked and I didn't have to explain anything to you. But when you're constantly fighting and trying to explain with your drummer, you're looking for a way out. You're like, I don't think this is the guy for us next time around because I need him to just know, right? Nobody's going to explain it to you. That's what my job is. But your job is to serve the song. Hey, if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or better yet, go to blueprintsounds.com. There you'll see a download link for 23 things what every worship team and tech team should hear. It's full of really good advice for everyone from drummers, bass players, guitarists, lead singers, stuff that you probably should have heard long time ago, but I'll tell you now. Until next time, God bless. And bye.